is up everybody, it's Bert and welcome back to the shop. Now I'm really excited to show you off what we got here today. We got some really cool deliveries from Amazon and I am super, super excited. Now yes, everything here was purchased off of Amazon. It is for the Miata. I'll leave the parts down in the description so check those out later. So what we got here is we got some suspension pieces, at least I believe that's what these are. Obviously as you can see right here, we've taken the entire car apart. We got the tub here. The drive trans over here, we set the whole subframe away to get media blasted and powder coated. Nice jet black high gloss, it's going to look awesome. But obviously there are parts that we need to replace, especially on the front end. Pretty much all of the ball joints and anything with bushings is obviously going to be replaced, but the ball joints especially need attention. Now this car had around 145,000 miles on it when we tore it apart, obviously those ball joints are more than likely the factory original. So they've seen quite a lot of miles and they've seen probably a lot of abuse, at least a little bit from this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace them. So let's go ahead and see what we got in these boxes. Oh, and those, these are, awesome. those are especially awesome. We'll take a look at those in a minute. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here first. I'm not sure what's in either one of these boxes except for the coilovers. All right, so we've got some Moog Universal, pretty much a ball joint. This is gonna be what I'm gonna use for the upper ball joint. Now, a lot of people say you're not supposed to replace the upper ball joint, that you can't, unless you know what you're actually doing, which I kind of do. Oops. So here's the ball joint. I'm actually gonna grab the other one. So. Old ball joint, new ball joint. They are exactly the same. Now here's here's the old ball joint. It is broken. I had to cut it to get it out, unfortunately. Here's the new one. Now this one didn't have a lot of play in it, but I wasn't taking any chances. Now this is a Moog ball joint. The model is Moog K5002. And these will work very, very well for replacing. So we got our Moogs. Next up, all right, now we've got some really good stuff. Now right here, this is something that goes wrong in almost every Miata, your lower shift boot, at least that's what this should be. And yes, it is a lower shift boot. This is from AC Delco, I think I spent 16 bucks on it. It looks like it's in really, it looks like it's gonna be a really durable replacement for what's currently on there. Let's go ahead and we'll take the camera over here and we'll, I'll show you. As you can see here, this shift boot is just absolutely decimated and destroyed and uh, it's, not, it's not in great shape, so we're gonna to wanna to fix that, obviously. And then we've got a couple other parts here. So, we've got another ball joint. I believe this is the lower ball joint, if I remember correctly. Oh no, this is actually the steering control arm. So yeah, very important to replace these because obviously these have seen a lot of abuse as well. And if you want to make sure your suspension and everything works really well, do replace these. Obviously, I'm not sparing any expense. Now mind you, these aren't expensive. This is like 15 bucks. Spend the extra couple dollars to make sure your suspension works correctly. Start from the bottom up. That's what we're doing. We're not we don't have a huge budget, especially since YouTube pretty much demonetized everything. We're kind of, you know, pinching our pennies at this point, but spend the money where it matters. Suspension and handling, you cannot go wrong spending money to make that tighter and more, just make it better. All right, spend the money on suspension pieces, you won't regret it. And then for these guys. Now, we still have the old parts for these, However, I decided to go ahead and replace them, and they are the lower bushings control for the control arm for the front suspension. And I think this was like 16 bucks. And again, these are new. These are AC Delco, and AC Delco makes good stocks. They're not expensive, so spend the extra money. You won't regret it. And now, for the heavy story, it's just a uh, holy shit, this is it. Holy crap! Oh. 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 All right. Let's. Obviously, you want to be a little bit careful with these. This is a really nice box, too. I might use this for something else. Ooh. Oh, 
what do we got? We got a we got a nice folder booklet here. It's got oh an official sticker. Pro ST coilover for Miata. Genuine parts. That is cool. Look at that. Oh, and I give you a picture of a whole bunch of stuff that they use for skunk. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, that is pretty. He's very nice. He's very nice. Control arms. A beautiful VTEC. Oh, that's, a, that's an S2000 head. Okay, so I'm sorry. Turns out that I had a bit of an SD card error and the video that came after this one actually got deleted. So we're gonna try this one more time. So we got our Skunk Works, Skunk 2 Racing. I couldn't remember how it was. We got a lot of really nice stuff in here. We've also obviously got the tools and a decal, that's cool. We got a warranty card and some other cool stuff in here. But what we really care about is what's in these boxes. So let's go ahead and open one. Here we go. I do apologize, I'm a filthy pig, but I like what I do, so deal with it. Now the reason I went with these coilovers is A, Exomotive themselves recommend these on their website. They're not the most expensive one they have, but they're the best ones for be mostly road, but can also be used very well for track. They're not like track hardened ones. They'll make you still have a really comfortable ride. And that's what I want. Cause I'd like to, you know, cruise around, maybe drive this to work once in a very rare while. But uh, I don't want this thing to like break my prostate as I drive it down the road because I bought the hardest coil overs possible. So let's go ahead and pull these puppies out. And they have an awesome color scheme to them too, which is why I bought them. All right, baby, here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, look how beautiful that is. It's got the adjustable dial for firm or soft here at the top. Comes with top hats already, so we don't have to worry about that. And they are beautiful. Black, red, and the nice bronze here, brass color, gold. I like that. As you can remember, our wheels are also bronze. So these color schemes will go together great because we are painting the chassis itself red. Now, I was kind of on the fence as to what color I wanted to paint the chassis, but I see a lot of people make their exosets not necessarily the most bright of colors, and given that there is like no safety in this, I might as well make it at least red, that way so people can see it, and I don't have to have a tire where my face is when some grandma who's messing on her phone isn't paying attention and she hits me because she says, oh, I didn't see him, at least I'm red, so, you know, that, you know we'll go with that. But these things are absolutely phenomenal. They have complete adjustment for everything you would possibly need for your Miata. And these come for the NBNNA. The NC ones are a little different, but these are awesome nonetheless. I'm going to go ahead and give you a nice, nice flyby here. Just take it in. Take it in. Oh, it's so beautiful. Got the nice skunk racing, the nice holographic decal. And obviously, I wanted to go with one that is aesthetically pleasing as well given that you're going to definitely see these on the car. If you look at a pair of coilovers and they look like shit, they're gonna be like, oh, they're kind of lousy. You know, I don't want that. I want these things to look awesome. Um, judging by these, I believe these are the front coil, co yeah, these are the front coilovers. Definitely are. So that's what we got for our coilovers. Obviously the back one, it looks exactly the same. It's just a little bit shorter, but yeah, that's our shipment. And then we actually have something even better in my opinion. And this is something that is very underrated. By people. People don't think that, you know, a sway bar is really all that important. It kind of is, guys. And I'm not gonna get into the real technical part of it, but what it does when you're going around a corner really fast, it keeps your wheels on the ground so you have maximum traction. So we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy back in its bag. And I'm gonna show you what we got from our friends over at 949 Racing. If you're looking for good Miata parts, whether you're building an extra set or you just have a Miata in general, 949 Racing is definitely a place you should visit. They have great prices and their products are kind of the kind of the status quo as far as good quality. A lot of the stuff that we have is from 949. We got our uh, engine mounts from 949 Racing. We got the, oh God, all the energy suspension bushings, like uh, oh, this thing here, all of these for Miata, energy suspension bushings, they're the best you can get, they're the hardest, and they work phenomenal. 
Get these from 949 Racing. And what else? We got the lug nuts as well. The lug nuts from 949 Racing, obviously forged aluminum. They are less than a third the weight of the regular lug nuts that you get with this. That's a lot of rotational energy that's lost. So accelerating and moving is going to be significantly easier. You can't go wrong losing rotational energy. Also, probably want to upgrade a clutch and flywheel. And we actually have a Fly Miata Happy Meal over here. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab that. Give me a minute. Now, this is not brand new, actually. This is out of a wrecked Miata. The guy had about 200 miles on this before someone rear-ended him. So this clutch and flywheel are pretty much brand new. They've been sitting on the shelf at the shop I bought it at for a while. And uh, we actually got this in exchange for the shell that we donated so someone can make a spec Miata. Now, I'm not big on buying used clutches. However, when you pull this guy apart, I can look at the torque plate here. There's no imperfections in it. It's a little dirty, but that's not uncommon. And it is just perfectly smooth. Absolutely flawless. The clutch, also in great shape. But what's really nice is this is a 10.5 pound flywheel. This is a significantly lighter flywheel than what you get in the stock Miata. I think it's like 17 pounds. So that's six pounds of rotational energy lost. Now, given that we are going to be doing forced induction on this thing at some point, this is also going to make a hell of a lot of difference because it's going to take a lot less for the engine to wind up and it's going to give us a lot quicker revving. So even if you don't have forced induction, a lighter flywheel will give you a significant improvement, at least on your ability to rev faster. For the last thing we got from 949 Racing, they sent us a Racing Beats, uh, Racing Beat sway bar for both the front and the back. We went with the extra thick ones. The stock sway bars on the Miata, unfortunately, they're, they do the job, but they're nowhere near as good as these are. So let's go ahead and pull a knife off of here and open these bad boys up and see what we got. I don't even know what they look like, to be honest, so I'm really, really excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, those look really nice. All right, so here are the end links. I'm just going to pop one of these out of bag and show you. So here, Super Miata end links. Now, these are really, really cool. These are completely adjustable for tension for your sway bars. Now, obviously, you know, with these, you can just go ahead and you can make them as big or as small as needed and then torque them up and gives you complete adjustability, which is really, really cool. 949 Racing makes some really good stuff, and I suggest you get these. They're like 60 bucks a set I don't I, for front and back. Um, but obviously, you know, you get two of these for the front, two of these for the back, and I'm really looking forward to using these because I can tell you the old sway bar we had was absolute dog crap. Put you back in your bag. What else is in there? Oh. All right, so it's a bunch of grease, mounting hardware, bushings, and bolts. So, I mean, we pretty much all know what that kind of stuff looks like, so I'm just going to put it. All right, so we got our front sway bar. Holy crap, that is heavy. Oh, yeah, look at that nice red. Nice racing beat. Oh, God. This is almost... I can't believe this thing's that heavy. This is a good, like, 20 pounds. Now the old one I have sitting in there, there's a significant, you know what, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab the old one. All right, so here's the new one, here's the old one, piece of junk. This weighs twice as much as this, I won't lie to you. This is, there's a substantial difference and this doesn't have all the other crap attached to it. This is just the bar. So the point of this is to keep your wheels on the ground. It's thicker, it's stronger, it's not gonna bend anywhere near as easy, so that is what we want. I'm gonna take this piece of shit and just take it and kind of, you know, screw you, you're gone. And then we've got the rear one. Put the and the nice thing with this is it's also red, which is really cool. So it'll go together with our color scheme. And then we got our rear one. And the rear one, this is actually just a solid piece of metal, and it's yeah, it's orange. Is it orange. Hey, it's orange. Actually, I like I like orange a lot. I would normally get the Exoset chassis painted orange, but my wife said not a chance in hell. So unfortunately, I've decided to give that to her. But I do like red. So, and here's the rear sway bar, and this thing is, oh God, that is, it's a serious piece of hardware. And the actual old one, I'll go grab that. Here's the old one, here's the new one. If you can take a look, 
There's a substantial difference. Sorry, I'm probably overwhelming the microphone. There is a substantial difference in the thickness here. That is what we want. We want this to be thicker, th thicker. We want this to be stiffer. We want this to give a much firmer ride and not allow as much movement, which is definitely good. Some people take off the rear sway bar. I'm not cutting any corners. If you can make this thing handle faster or handle better, that's great. Then when you add horsepower, it just makes you better around the track as long as you don't drive like a moron. So they're ahead and throw the old end link over there. And unfortunately there's no real way to like reuse those. They're pretty much crap anyway. So yeah, you know, just have at it. Oh crap, that is dropped. Drop my phone in the trash. So guys, that is the awesome shipment that we got. And I'm getting really excited at this point because we've got pretty much everything we need to build the roller skate perfectly. We've got new rotors, engine mounts, bushings, sway bars, coilovers, uh, we got the lug nuts, and uh, that's, that's pretty much everything. So now all we gotta do is we gotta wait for the chassis to get back from powder coating, and then we're gonna put this bad boy together, and this is gonna be one hell of an exo set. So until next time, guys, I am Bert from Pixel Armory. Like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.